Did you give them a heads up and say, oh, by the way, or are they just going to hear it when they hear it? I think they're just going to hear it when they hear it. I don't think I'm going to give anybody heads up that they're, that they're the inspiration for songs on the record, because they're going to know. They'll know pretty they're much. They're definitely going to know when it comes out. So I might as well not like uh, give them the heads up and have them be like anxious for until it comes out. After Speak Now's initial release, fans speculated which ex each song was about. And while many assume Dear John is about John Mayer, Taylor's never confirmed. John. Are you anxious at all? For them to hear it and maybe some sort of feedback at some point? There's definitely going to be some feedback, I, <laughs> I can assure you. Anticipating feedback once again with the new release, Taylor actually spoke out at her concert last month asking Swifties not to lash out. I'm not putting this album out so that you could go and like should feel the need to defend me on the internet against someone you think I might have written a song about 14 billion years ago. And it's no wonder Lautner was the ex asked to be in Swift's music video. Many fans calling back to December, which is rumored to be about him, the nicest song that's ever been written about one of her exes. And Lautner had some fun ahead of Speak Now being back in the conversation, telling Today.com that he feels safe about the album, but is praying for John. He even posted this hilarious TikTok. But no matter the ex the track may be about or how bad the breakup, writing songs has always been therapeutic for Taylor. I've never been afraid of uh, telling the whole story right. in the form of music because anytime I would feel loneliness or pain or, uh, I don't know, just rejection, I would kind of transfer that into, it's okay because I can write a song about this later. It's just been the way I process emotions, really.